welcome Ophiosis. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's look and see what's coming up for the month of February, Ophiosis. Oh, oh, oh. Ophiosis. So I see some of you were ready to make some sort of a changes in your life. Um, but it's it's not yet time. I see you need to visualize here. Visualize what it is that you want. And this will come to you. So you're dealing with a lot of people, Ophiosis. Whatever is happening in transpiring. You're dealing with a lot of people. Um, you're going to make some sort of a decision in the second week. Okay, so we see the energy of the chariot in reverse. And we see the five of pentacles. Whatever this issue and situation is... So um, you're dealing with the Capricorn, the Tauruses, the Leo is in the reverse. I see information is coming out. Um, I see the Nine of Cups, so congratulations. You're ending the month on a very, very positive note. I see you're going to make it some sort of a decision in the month that is going to be leaving you um, on a very wonderful note. The Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. I see some unexpected money could be coming up. Then you have the three of pentacles. There was some sort of a collaboration that some of you were doing. And we see the queen of pentacles. Now the queen of pentacles, a lot of you are going to be having to deal with a Capricorn. Now whoever this Capricorn is and whatever is transpiring, this Capricorn could be helping some of you to work out some sort of an issue and situation. So... This person could be a business partner. Um, so you Ophiosis are dealing with the Taurus and the Capricorn. Whatever is happening and transpired, the Taurus and the Capricorns are going to be helping you to work out some sort of an issue that you have been going through. And this is going to be good. So a wonderful situation is happening and transpiring. And what we're seeing is that the energy of the chariot is in reverse and a lot of you are looking back and you need to look forward, okay? So whatever that is affecting your life is as if you're looking back and is as if they want you to look forward. So forward, movement, forward, look forward, go forward. It is very important for some of you to pick up your reign and uh, um, create some sort of a forward um, clear your vision in order to understand that you need to, to make some sort of a decision for you to um, change the way you're looking at things, okay? So whatever that happened in the past before this period comes in, because this is created in the month of September and it has to do with a five-week period of some sort of a um, issue that was happening, you need to let go because you're still looking back or, and you need to look forward and see exactly where you're going to. So you're coming in this month still being a little shaky, a little ruffle, and you have to make some sort of a decision. So I see you there trying to create some sort of a decision that is going to be creating a lot of wealth for you. If you make this decision, because it has to do with... Uh, creating more financial stability in your world. If you create this um, decision, it is going to be good because what is going to be transpiring is that your wishes and dreams is going to be coming through. There is some sort of a message, some sort of a information that is going to be coming in. In the first um, two weeks, that is going to give you a push to make a right decision in the right direction. So this is wonderful. It is a sort of... Um, creating your own um, stability um, by choosing to go in another direction. And this is why they're saying, um, take time, go by the water. If you can't go by the water, listen to water and make um, a positive uh, visualization um, towards where you want to go in life. So here we see this is a situation where some sort of information is going to be coming out that is going to be bringing you some sort of a um, financial 
new financial stability on that um, at this moment in this month is when the decision will be made. And at the end of the month, as you make this decision in order to create wealth in your life, you're going to be realizing how uh, important it is because it's going to bring you success. So you're ending the month with a nine of cups. And this is extremely positive because um, you're going to be standing your grounds and working on something, finishing off something. Is it a block? Is it a book? Um, finishing off a project. And in order to get this project or the situation off the ground, you're going to be making the right decision in order to create uh, the correct uh, stability in your world. And this is going to be good. So um, be aware of what is happening. A whole lot of news is going to be coming in. A whole lot of news that is going to be pushing you in the right direction and it's going to be showing you um, the right direction where you should move um, in. Um, this is going to be very positive because whatever um, you decide on wherever you decide to go, it is going to be right for you. OK, so I see you're thinking and in the process of changing your financial stability because you're still looking backwards and you need to look forward. And as you realize that you need to let go of the past and choose for the future in order to create wealth for yourself in the third week, this is going to be a very successful um, um, decision that you're going to be making. Because here we see the energy of the Ace of Pentacles, then we see the Three of Pentacles, and then we see the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this person could be a boss, this person could be um, a partner that is going to be coming in. I see um, some of you are going to be collaborating or deciding to sign some sort of a contract, some sort of agreement with this person in order to bring stability in your world. And this is going to be absolutely fabulous. So it's all about you focusing on creating wealth, okay? And however you create this wealth with or without someone, it is going to be good. But if you decide to work with this person, this queen of pentacles who is coming up as a Taurus or as a Virgo because a Virgo is going to be coming in in order to assist you because some of you have some sort of a loss in the past and you're still thinking about that. And I see now in the future, you're going to be aware of this and it's going to be aligning your energy in the correct way in order for you to create your wealth. There's a lot of wealth here to be created. And they're advising you as you work together with um, with others, as you collaborate with others, uh, it is going to be bringing you um, a very, very positive uh, um, self-acceptance, um, self-awareness, uh, um, healing yourself. Moving from one state of the game to another and understanding what it is and how you need to create your money okay um some of you are going to be receiving some sort of a help that is going to be coming in some of you are going to be understanding that you need to make uh, um some sort of a changes some sort of a decision that you need to make in order to facilitate your own wealth okay and by um, creating, um, networking, um, collaborating with others. Um, people are going to be uh, <laughs> open up doors. <laughs> sorry, open up doors of um, doors for you in a very positive alignment of energy. So, so there is um, some financial hardship as you come in to this month in the first week, the second week. You're going to be receiving some sort of information that is going to make you make some sort of a decision. The decision you make is going to be very, very good. As we move out in the third week, I see some unexpected money could be coming back. It is as if uh, um, you're going to be connecting with the right people at the right time. You're going to be collaborating with the right people at the right time. Um, you're going to be um, really finding out and seeing... Um, that you need to 
um, put your focus on what it is that, that you want to have in your life and create uh, that sort of a wealth and stability for yourself. So it is um, really going to be um, a, a month of visualiz uh, visualizing. Visualizing is when you create uh, what it is that you want by truly visualizing which direction, where you want to go, what is transpiring, how you want to um, deal with uh, um, your life moving forward. Are you just going to be sitting because your job, um, you never get an extension on your contract? Or are you just going to be sitting, um, still thinking about how they could have done this to you? Or you're going to be saying, okay, so this is over. Now I need to um, create some sort of a new stability in my world. So this is where um, visualization comes in because you're going to be thinking, okay, so, um, all right, so um, this is how it works. Um, uh, this will no longer um, create any sort of a wealth of stability for me. So I am going to start focusing and thinking on myself. And as you realize that... Um, the um the karma between you and the people you were working with is just over it's over and uh, it's giving you and your uh, guardian angels are giving you a new chance a new chance in order to create your own wealth and stability are you going to take this chance um do you have it in you to create some sort of a wealth and abundance for you in, instead of waiting on other people um, to do that for you? Are you going to be um, creating a stability? Are you going to be um, connecting with other people, trying to find out how you can manage and, and, and choose for yourself and not that you have to wait for people to choose for you. So it's going to be an incredible five weeks. Uh, um, this reading is going to be going on for another um, um, couple of minutes where we're going to be looking at each and every week to see what is going to be coming up and how is it going to be aligning you going further. So it's all about uh, do it, dealing with the hurt sign people, dealing with... Uh, um, creating new sort of a wealth and stability, letting go of the past, um, whatever has ended, um, you got to let go of this, um, trying to create some sort of a stability. And it's as if you already have the tool in your hands. And it's as if some of you um, are afraid to collaborate with people because you don't know um, what is going to be happening, what is going to be transpiring. And it's as if they're saying, you need to collaborate in order, reach out to other people, um, start uh, looking up for other people to collaborate with. And that is going to be bringing you in a whole lot of wealth, happiness, and joy. So life is going to be changing, but changing in a very positive way, because you're going to be making the changes for yourself in order to have that uh, um, queen of pentacles feelings, that uh, um, woman of uh, um, financial stability, that woman who creates her financial stability um, alone. And this is going to be um, absolutely fabulous. So whatever you choose to do in this month uh, and whatever decision you choose to make, it is going to be a very good decision because you have the energy of the Nine of Cups. End of the month on the energy of Nine of Cups is about you reaching your goals and aspiration that you have been hoping and dreaming for. And all they're saying is that in order to create uh, um, your wealth, you have to work together with other people. And that is going to be bringing in some sort of a balance. So in the third week, um, you're going to be um, getting some sort of idea that is going to create your wealth. And that idea is going to push you to collaborate with other people. And that collaboration with other people is with a Capricorn or with a uh, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. And that is going to be helping. That person is going to be helping you to reach your goal. I love you guys. Um, please remember that this reading um, has an extension 
and as you will see the extension please follow us to the other side if not enjoy because this you're going to be ending this month on a very positive note you're going to be creating your wealth you're going to be visualizing and creating your wealth in this month i love you guys gotta go namaste